Jesus. Hallelujah. The most happiest person today. On 23rd, we dismissed church. I went to. I called my brother because I'm traveling with him. His family is already traveling. I said, well, I, are we going? He answered, sir, I'm not well. You are not well. I said, yes. But he said, I'm cheating and vomiting. My son said, not something full, but I should run and go. I prepare and run and go. When I reach, he's lying down on the floor. He went from Palo, enter bedroom. He stayed five minutes. He entered outside, back on. He stayed five minutes. I look at I say, Mecca, do you think something no wrong with you? Have you seen doctor? He said no. He said it's one nurse that treating him. I said, did this nurse do this? He said no. How will you understand what is wrong with you? Whether it's typhoid or it's your stomach? He said no. He said, Auntie, go. I said no. I, I slept there. On Monday morning, I watched him. He said I should go and bring my blood in a bag and come. We are traveling to eight fifty. Money. I said to I went and buy many things that I will take travel. As I read the hold, hold off, hold, 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 no road to go. I stand on the hold of eight o'clock. As I come down for their gate, they have closed gate. I call him. He said his motor is outside there. They are repairing the bathroom. So he boys just see me and Tianti. They park my boat. We're driving. I watch this boy. I say I don't like the situation. I call him wife. I say Maka. I don't like I say Maka is behaving. What of that hospital you people use to attend? Let me take him there. It's okay, Auntie. Now I call him Maka. We are going to the hospital. It's all right. He didn't say no. He carry key. I said, you can't drive. He said, he will drive. We enter motor. He drive, reach hospital. We take short road because there is no sleep. Immediately we reach. He didn't park well. The man come out, say, park well. He park well. We enter office. Doctor check him. He beep, he was 208. Doctor shout, come out, madam. Where, do, where are you when this boy is sitting? Say, I just came to his place this night. Say, uh, uh, it's too much. You see that premature that the enemy has started kicking off in this January. You know, go walk again. We are here now. You mm. know, hear me. I say, you know, walk again, brother. I say, oh God, what is going on? They take him out. As my brother come out, he said they, they are going to give him bed. I told him. He said, we don't have private uh, room and we want. I said, how much is private room? He said, 10,000 for day. I said, no, it's too much. Give us a public one. As I hold my brother for hand, he just, as he turned around like this, he I only white I see. He, he's falling. I hold him, hold him, knee with him for ground. Well, we fought. The thing started to shake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Three times, you know, this again. I shout, I show God, where are you? Uh -huh. Will you leave me alone? Mm. I show God, remember your promise to me. Mm. I will not go alone. I come here with my brother. I will go back with my brother. Mm -hmm. Don't leave me, daddy. Don't leave me. I'm shouting, don't go. Say, Madam, is enough. Go and find Tyson and take him to General Hospital. I said, General Hospital? Is General Hospital being part of this? Oh my God. He being part of this hospital? He said, I should take him to General Hospital. I said, okay, let me go and find Tyson. I walk out. I don't know anybody. Everywhere is dark. I call God. I call God. I said, this boy, put your name for our ministry. You shall not die premature. Mm. And none of my family will shall die premature. In the name of Jesus, God of my soul, 
Are you with me? Come down and multiply your power now. I need you now. I shout, I cry. I saw two Yoruba people that are sitting there. You go and meet them. I said, hey, brother, I need your help. My brother has died. I need Taisi. I beg. He take his hand, drive, enter this hospital. Now he's dead. I beg. The man called Taisi. The Taisi say, he say, he's in hold up. No way to come out. He said, he's motor dead. I said, he's motor dead. Oh, yeah, let's go. He's full up. Immediately we reach, reach hospital. As we are going, I call his wife immediately. His wife called him assholes. All of them run with Okada. Before I reach, they don't reach. My brother, can't they breathe? I say, Jesus, that person has wake up. Eh? You have breathed, Emeka? Oh, yeah. We carry him. Enter inside Taizi. We run to General. No way to go. That place, they took the blood. You just open. All my body, all his body, the whole motor, we don't know. Everywhere, I'm full of blood. We're fighting that one inside the motor. He's restless. He wants to jump out from the motor. I hold him, they shout, they shout, they shout. But one man come met us there and said that we should take Okada to General Hospital. Now the man just park. See two of him, three of him, yard people. They land, they carry and put inside Okada. One person hold him for back. Mm. We reach another hospital. They say no chance that we should go back. Huh? I don't know what to do. Now we go back. I said, Doctor, here my wife delivered two times with operation. 300,000 each. You will kill this boy today, and he has come admission here. I don't see this why you will tell me to go to another hospital. Why this is their hospital? No matter what happened, you will cure him. He has wake. So those men help me speak to the doctor. Mm. Doctor admit him. His wife said he will take night and come. I say no, don't worry. God is in the world. Twenty feet to go. Twenty six. You read twenty seven. My my brother fell dead again. Faith. They bring us Egypt. Proof for him. I cry. I call God. I call pastor. I call prophet. I say, my prophet, I'm dying. What I have covered my eye, I'm dying. He said, well, what happened? I explained to him. He said that I should give him his name. I say, Mecca Ewewe. He took his name. Pastor, they may the following day. Pastor, they may pray for him. Now, so other pastors, they come, they pray. So, he read to his age, his wife come back with the children. We start looking him. No type of test we know to. Mm. Test be 200,000. But they are taking us. So, I thank God. Mm. He's alive today. Oh. Pray. Hospital. Suppose that thing happened that time. Mm. What will be happen? Mm. Fatal accident. Suppose he pretends we enter motor early morning, four o'clock. Move. Where are we going to end our life? The other three boys, different, different fathers and mothers. I and him, one mother. What will happen? Is it inside water? 
Is it inside bush? Is it inside road? Where are we going to end our life? This is what performed me. I think of it. I say, God, this is your, this is shown God. This is shown God. This kind God. I never see before you. No. This kind God. Blessed be the holy name. This kind God. This kind God. I never see before the day. We now walk in this place. Amen. Hear me, hear me. We know that it was spoken. God says, Lord. So it is not a news that we are hearing that it came. It might touch some, it might not touch some, but we are here. God has made us authority. So I want to tell you that even if it has happened or is about to happen, it's no longer going to happen again. Amen. Can I say something to you? Every premature death in your family has finally been canceled. Amen. Let your amen sound like a thunder. Amen. May that testimony be permanent. Somebody dead awake again. God is awesome. Say amen.